through this door live in outer dimension. One of beeps, one of boops. The reality where 8-bit and HD clash. This is the point where new retro meet. The sixth and a half dimension, protected by the arcade overlord. You have crossed into the turbo zone. The back of the box for Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter says, Lose the clothes, save your life. I'm interested. Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter is one of those weird fucking games that I play on the PS4 from time to time. Um, developed by Tamsoft. If you don't know who Tamsoft is, Tamsoft uh, made such series as uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia, um, Oni Chambara, which this game is actually part of the Oni Chambara series, and Sinron Kagura, one of my favorite series, Sinron Kagura. So whenever I saw this game on the shelf, I had to pick it up. And uh, let's just say Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter is not exactly what I expected. Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter has a pretty simple premise. You play as five schoolgirls stuck in a zombie apocalypse. Um, with that said, you don't really go anywhere else except for inside of the school and some catacombs under the school. So the locations in the game are not varied, but that's not why you're here. You're here to play as a cute-ass schoolgirl and shoot some zombies. And in terms of, of that... This game succeeds with, with what it sets out to do. It's just that what it sets out to do isn't the most impressive. Now, I was actually excited when I saw this game uh, because I play other just strange Japanese games uh, like Simran Kagura or Earth Defense Force, and they're my favorites. In fact, where this was a shooter, I, I, in my head, I had it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like Earth Defense Force, and it's, it's, it's not, um, it's not as polished, it's not as good, but th that's not really a bad thing. Um, like I said, this is part of the Oni Chambara series, and I've played a few Oni Chambara games. I had one, I had Bikini Samurai Squad on the 360, and I didn't care for that one that much. Um, and I have Z2 Chaos on the PS4. I do actually like that one quite a bit. Um, but overall, I've never really been into the Oni Chambara franchise. Um, but it's Tamsoft, and I mean, Cinnamon Kagura is amazing, and Peach Beach Splash was awesome. So I thought for sure this game would be something like that. And it, it more falls down the, the trend of the Oni Chambara games just kind of being hit or miss and this one i would say for the most part is miss um but i i actually don't 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 hate this game <laughs> Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter is has, has, has a lot of problems. Uh, the game, like I said, like the game's locations are... Th there really are none. There's two. Uh, the school and the catacombs under the school. 
Um, the girls, there's five girls you can play as. They don't really have that much of personality. I mean, the story is okay for the most part. Um, but what I actually find enjoyable is some of the gameplay. Uh, granted, the gameplay is not perfect. In fact, when you start out playing, you're going to want to configure the controls to uh, fit your playstyle. But if you're just looking for a game where you can just shoot zombies as a cute-ass schoolgirl, this game's got you covered. I mean, after you configure the controls, uh, it, it doesn't feel too bad. There, there is a little bit of lag. I can definitely tell there's a little bit of lag. Um, especially if you're uh, using, like, a sniper rifle. <laughs> um, if you just push the button, say you push shoot twice by accident, it'll shoot, wait like two seconds, and then shoot again. Um, it's really disorientating, but... It, it wasn't anything I couldn't get used to. Uh, it's just, this game is, it's it's surprisingly challenging, honestly. Like, um, I'm I'm over halfway through the game at, at this point. Uh, the game's not very long, by the way. Um, and it, the game does pack some challenge. I mean, it's not the, the, the hardest thing in the world, but I have had a few missions that I've, I've failed. Uh, due to just dying or not knowing where to go um, But overall, I mean honestly this game has a certain charm to it That uh, honestly kind of reminds me of Yakuza Dead Souls um, I don't know how people feel about uh, you know about Yakuza Dead Souls, but I actually like Yakuza Dead Souls quite a bit and uh, Granted this game is not as good as Yakuza Dead Souls. I would rather play that game But Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter is definitely it's something I think just the novelty of this game alone is is kind of worth playing. Like you kind of like you don't really expect this game to be you know to be that amazing. I mean, and 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 honestly, it's 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 not the worst game. I've seen some reviews of this game, and people you know straight up say that it's. A, I, I I think one review actually said in the title that it's a dumpster fire, and it's it's not. It's not that bad. I mean. The game cost me brand new. I bought it brand new in box, in case, for $20. Like, it's really... You're getting what you pay for here. It's not It's not Skyrim. It's not Call of Duty. It's Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter. I think one of my favorite aspects of the game is that uh, <laughs> one of your uh, tactics um, while you're out on the field is that you can actually push the uh, the, the touchpad on the, on the PS4 controller and strip your clothes off and use your clothes as a decoy. I think that is one of the, the, the best aspects of the game. Uh, it always cracks me up whenever I'm getting swarmed by zombies to just see my girl um, just with one hand, with one swoop take all of her clothes off and <laughs> just set it up as a trap I find that to be hilarious and the game has a good variety of weapons it has a good variety of, uh, of outfits you can obtain for your characters it's got a good you know variety of customization uh, and like I said the game is fun I, I do think this game is fun it's not as good as Sinron Kagura it's not as good as uh, as Oni Chamra Z2 Chaos it's not as good as Earth Defense Force but there is a certain charm here, and there is a, like an amount of fun to be had. So, I mean, honestly, if you're into these kind of games, if you like these kind of really niche Japanese, uh, like 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 developed games where you play as schoolgirls or whatever, uh, this game really isn't the worst thing in the world. It's cheap, it's fun, 
and it'll keep you busy for a good after. Like, I would say a good weekend. Um, you know, you know what this game is enough. Uh, there is a multiplayer aspect. There's like a co-op mode. I, d I didn't really have a chance to try that yet, um, but. I mean, if you have friends that want to play Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter with you online, that's a thing you can do. The co-op is probably pretty fun, but other than that, you'll mainly be playing the campaign. The campaign, plain. The the campaign's pretty fun. Uh, the story's not not too amazing, but I did find some some of the dialogue to be kind of funny, and uh, some of the situations. Uh, and overall, I think this game is decent. I think this game is decent, not terrible, just decent. Hey Geek, I'm Gamers, TurboBot90013 here, remember to subscribe to the TurboZone for more content, the Arcade Overlord thank you, stay retro, TurboZone.